In the beginning of your routine, before you can even step on the field, you have to take all your equipment off and make sure there's nothing in your vests. After you handed all your equipment off to the deputy judge, they will open the gate for you and allow you to enter. You will enter and be escorted to the beginning portion. As soon as you walk onto the field, you want to make sure that you're maintaining control. You should start control as soon as you enter that field. There's a circle drawn out, which the volunteer will take you over to, and you'll down your dog and then go talk to your judge. This is known as the down for presentation. As you walk up to your judge, you want to make sure to take off a hat or sunglasses if you happen to be wearing them. This is just out of respect for your judge. During your down for presentation, you're going to tell the judge your name, the level you are trialing under, your dog's information including name, age, breed, and sex. Following that, you're going to continue with your club affiliation, the language of commands, that you're using. Your recall, whether it's a voice or if it's a whistle, you want to make sure to show your whistle. Thank you. The judge will then wish you good luck and the deputy judge will escort you to the beginning of the first exercise. No. This exercise is heel on leash. It's worth four points. You'll see me being directed to use my prep line. The prep line is optional, but it is extremely valuable to use, as in heel on leash and the other healing exercise, muzzle heel. You will have the opportunity to know where to start, the pattern, and then you will be able to collect yourself and your dog. As you walk up to the prep line, you are allowed to use any commands, but when you use your commands from prep line to start line, you want to be consistent in using the name of the dog and your heel command. Once you reach the start line, even if your dog is automatically sat, you still must give a sit command and separate. You have the option of giving a stay command before or after you separate, but it is completely optional and not necessary. It is up to the handler to choose to use that. French ring is very specific on handling, so in this circumstance I'm using a choke chain. You can see that I put the choke chain on the dead rings. Put both dead rings at the bottom of the neck. The leash should be on the right side of the dog if they are healing on the left side. And the leash should not be protruding out of your fist. Once you are set up and standing at attention, the judge will give you a horn and you will say dog's name and your heel command. One thing to note is that your hand must be in the position where it is at in this video and that it is supposed to look like a natural walk with your dog. During both healing exercises, the judge will stop you with the horn three times. You will get a horn and you are allowed up to three steps. You will stop and wait for another horn which signals you to go. At that time, you are not allowed to say anything. The pace must be consistent and not vary. You'll notice in this stop that I won't take the full three steps and that's perfectly fine. What the judge is looking for is that your dog does not sit on the horn. At the end of the exercise, you will receive two horns from the judge authorizing the end of the exercise and the removal of the equipment. Once you remove the equipment, you'll hold it off to the side and wait for the deputy judge to come take the equipment. Once he or she has taken the equipment, you are allowed to praise your dog, but not overly praise your dog. This exercise is food refusal, worth 10 points. Like all other exercises, you will begin at the prep line designated by the deputy judge. They will point out what exercise it is after you've arrived. They will also tell you where to begin. In this circumstance, you will begin in a box that is drawn out facing the blind of the judge's choosing. You will tell your dog name, heel, and then walk over to the box, pause for a second, down your dog, separate, and optionally tell them stay. After you have separated, you will then walk forward to the blind, walk sideways, and back in. 
Once you are in the blind, you are allowed to turn around and look at your dog. Once you are in the blind, the judge will walk up, tempt your dog with one piece of food, and throw it approximately a foot in front of your dog. Once the judge has thrown the piece of food, he will honk, signaling you to exit the blind. You can exit the blind in any manner you wish, calmly walk back to your dog, return to heel position, and then the judge will signal you with a horn. You will say dog's name, heel, and continue to walk five steps forward in whatever direction the dog is in after you've returned to the dog. If after the five steps you have not received the double horn signaling exercise finished, continue walking until the judge has given you authorization that the exercise is finished. This exercise is muzzle heel, worth eight points. Like every other exercise, you're going to begin at your prep line. Your deputy judge will instruct you where to begin. In the muzzle heel, they will also tell you the pattern of the exercise, and then they will tell you again the name of the exercise and where to begin. At that point, you will say the dog's name and heel command and heel up to the start line. When you reach the start line, even if they have automatically sat, you will still tell them their sit command, an optional stay, separate, or separate and then an optional stay. It is your choice. The deputy judge will hand you your muzzle. You have the option of having the muzzle pre-tied so that you can just slip it on or you can then buckle it once the muzzle is on. It is the handler's choice. Once the muzzle is secure, stand up straight. The judge will then signal you with the horn to begin, and you will command the dog's name and heel command and start walking forward. The muzzle heel will have the same number of stops and starts, just like the heel on leash. These two exercises are very similar. Just like in Heel Unleash, you will receive two horns, judge authorizing the end of the exercise. You will remove the equipment, hold the equipment off to the side, wait for the deputy judge to take equipment, and then you are allowed to lightly praise your dog. It is very important not to praise your dog before you hand the equipment off to the deputy judge. This next exercise is absence of handler, worth 10 points. You'll start at your prep line. The deputy judge will tell you the exercise name and where to begin. Usually there's a box drawn out that you have to down your dog into, facing a blind of the judge's choosing. Once you reach the start box, you will command your dog to down, and then an optional rest command, separate, and walk to your blind. As you are about to enter the blind, instead of turning into it, you want to make sure to sidestep and then back into the blind. Once you are in the blind, you can turn around and look at the dog, but it is very important not to turn into the blind because you can lose all the points for the exercise. Once the one minute duration is up, the judge will signal you to come out with a horn. You will come out and return back to your dog. Once you get back to your dog, the judge will horn, signaling you to give a name of the dog and heel command, and walk approximately five steps forward. If you walk five steps forward and don't receive the double horn from the judge, just keep walking. This exercise is defensive handler, worth 30 points. Like every other exercise, you're going to want to begin at your prep line. The deputy judge will then tell you where to begin and what exercise you are on. When you get to your start line, you will command the dog to either sit or down, handler's choice, and an optional stay command either before or after you separate from the dog. After you have separated from your dog, the judge will authorize you using his horn to say dog's name and heel, and you will walk forward to your decoy. 
Once you get to the decoy, you continue walking until the decoy either shakes your hand or verbally greets you. You are then allowed to talk to the decoy in a short manner. Once the decoy says goodbye and shakes your hand and walks past you, you will walk five steps, come up, hit, and shoot a pistol, usually a starter gun of some sort. After one second, he will shoot the gun again, and there is a 10 second bite with your dog. After the 10 second bite, the judge will signal you to out your dog with a horn. You must be still when you out your dog. After the horn, you will say name of the dog out, stand still, and after a five second guard, the judge will then signal you with the horn to recall your dog. One thing to note is that you should always keep the whistle in your mouth and never drop it until the judge has signaled that the exercise is finished. This exercise is face attack worth 30 points. Like every other exercise, you will start at a prep line. The deputy judge typically will tell you what exercise it is and where to begin. In the face attack, there will be a box you must either down or sit your dog in. You will separate, either giving the stay command before or after the separation. Once you have separated, the judge will then authorize with a horn that you are allowed to send your dog for the attack. Once you hear the horn, you will say dog's name and attack. The dog will then bite the decoy for approximately 15 seconds. You will see there is very light pressure from the decoy and a very light test of the dog. After 15 seconds, the judge will signal you to recall with a horn. After you receive the horn from the judge, you will whistle. Remember to keep your whistle in your mouth, stay frozen. Once the dog is within one meter of you, the exercise will be finished upon the judge's signal of two horns. Once the exercise is finished, go ahead and praise your dog lightly. There are a few things to note about brevet. The brevet routine is always the same. It always begins with heel on leash, continues on to food refusal, then a muzzle heel, then an absence of handler, followed by the defensive handler and the face attack. Unlike all the other exercises, the brevet in order to pass, you must get an 80 out of 100 points and in addition to that, receive 80% of your bite work points. One thing to note is that if you are not sure if your dog is positioned correctly, you are welcome to look to the judge. The judge will either signal that you are fine or tell you to reset. This is not said beforehand, but it's just a helpful hint to know when you go into trial, especially when you are nervous. I hope this French Ring Brevet walkthrough has helped. If it has helped, please give it a like, please subscribe for more videos, and don't hesitate to share if you would like to. Thank you very much.